What is up guys welcome back here to another rise of kingdoms content here i'm shinji 42 and today we just did some battle testings richard zuntu martel edwardo woodstock to myris and we also have some constantine and zuntu these testings in here would greatly benefit you to succeed in rok we have mr puddle kicks in here make sure to check out his channel as well and if you find value in our content today subscribe and turn your notification on for daily contents and welcome mr puddle cakes thanks for having me awesome <laughs> actually check our i think you have a different path of edward to myers as well oh talent tree maybe we should do a comparison like which one does more optimal crap i got a gear on i just can't remember i can't forget to put all this shit back on tomorrow <laughs> i gotta put it back on too i gotta wake up tomorrow early oh this is my talent on edward if you want to see i am full archer though on that I don't have rejuvenate. What is your build? Full defensive tree. No, for oh, okay. Let's let's check that out. Okay. So I'm I am full defensive tree and then top left. For for infantry. Marco. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm getting there. Sorry, I had to take off my gear. All right. Let's see. Let's go. Are those archers? They look like calves. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Long bowman, man. I hate that we don't see the visual uh visual stack. Oh, you're already dead. I can see it. Oh man, I am getting destroyed. <laughs> see when my hit boom. Ooh. I think this is a 14 stack. Yikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is getting destroyed. Mm -hmm. So Martel Scipio. I mean, you know, Edward is still really, really good commander. Yeah. Well, the really counters infantry. The, the reason why I wanted to bring this up, actually, is because I've seen a lot of people using Martel Scipio in Sunset Canyon and then, like, solo tanking. Oh, you know what? Oh. I should have, I should have actually did this as fifty-five thousand because of the extra troop. Size, yeah, but but, nah. but still, you can see the big difference in here. Yeah, you can add five k more. I very, I highly doubt it's gonna make any difference now. Seeing this now, if it was close, I would say yeah, it would have made a big difference. But all I gotta do is beat your score with your Martel. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're gonna get hit hard here. All right. Oof. What is it? 10K severely wounded. Ouch. 10K. Because Zun 2 also has that uh, the reduction, right? The damage reduction. So Scipio actually has 25% damage reduction. Wait. Okay, I need to review Scipio. Which one is that? His first skill. When it casts, it has 25% damage reduction. Yeah, but this is passive with Zun 2. So it's yeah, every true. every single turn, which is really good. I guess the hi real highlight in this video is not the infantry. It's actually Edward. <laughs> we were planning for highlighting the infantry, but it, it become Edward highlight. So very interesting. All right. Are you ready for this? What, so I'm going to do the same one. Yeah, do it. <laughs> oh. So dumb. So funny. All right. I need to start saving my preset so I don't like mess up on. Uh, yeah. All right. What is no, this? No. Oh, Constantine. Oh. Yeah. What was okay? Okay, catch me by surprise. I don't know who's the secondary. Is that Zun too? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Uh, we'll see. Constantine has some. Um... Wait. Uh, I need to read the condition, but I know he has ability to tank the skill damage. Uh, oh, oh, I don't God. think so. 
How is Tamiris hit so hard? Because I, of my talent I, tree. Well, I don't. We gotta compare our talent tree. No, I, I, I know that Sun Tzu hits hard. Like it, it hit hard when I was hitting you too. But or not Ooh, Sun Tzu, Tamiris. T but it's like holy the, crap. the stack, man. You have to be consistent in the stack. Oh, 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 there's go. Oh, oh, that's kind of not fair. What the, what the hell? <laughs> there, oh my God, there we go. Let's oh, see if I can come up. back, come back at this. Come on, Archer gang. Gotta come back. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. This oh is my God. I, I kind of want to see how much you're going to end up healing for this one. I oh, think my, I think my build is bad too. No, it's not bad. It's not that bad. But oh my god, look at how Edward is oh destroying it still. You have no damage. Yeah, the damage is so weak. Yeah. You know, I had when 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 Ramses first came out, we did a testing before in 228. And we actually prevented the heal of uh Constantine. It right it went right at the same time when he has to heal and prevented him yeah it's pretty insane like ramses is just this great command yeah all around. like imagine if i never if you never had to heal you would have been eliminated already yeah that's one thing i love with ramses is his skills are wonderful i'm gonna have like 20k severely wounded out of this See, I don't use Edward a whole lot because, like, he's he's kind of softy compared to Ramses. I would rather have Ramses because I would have lesser to heal. But I, I'm telling you what, he hits hard. Edward, I'm 10k. I'm surprised I only had 10k. 10k. I, I think healed. it's Zun 2. But I, I mean, I healed for so much on that. I mean, 15k heal. Yeah, from the one heal. Is your Zun 2 taking a lot of the dam, absorbing a lot of that damage as well? Your um, one good thing about Constantine is that you know you have that ability to reduce a target's attack, you know, by forty percent. Really, it's big. And then you also have that reduced damage taken. Yeah. So it really it's absorbing a lot of the damage. So we'll do we'll do one more. What is this? And I think I is... think Richard. You do Richard Sun Tzu. I think you'll beat me. Wait, who is who is this? Edward so for tomorrow's. Wait, let's battle our Edward and Tomiris. Okay. I want to see. But you have Ottoman. I have Britain. Let's see. Edward versus Edward. Okay, considering I have VIP 17, you have VIP 16. Oh, look at that. That You you're beat me. At initial I... damage? 15 damage yeah because of the because of your damage bonus let's see who hits hard oh i didn't i don't even think i saw my skill go off man like bugged out stop crying man <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, so my skill my skill my screen isn't going off it's so weird <laughs> I don't know. It's close. It's neck and neck. It's neck and neck. Yeah, my my skill goes off two seconds after yours because of my build is different, I think. So now mine will go off. So close. It's it's that five percent damage. <laughs> it's what's hurt me. Hey, come on! <laughs> <laughs> you have yeah, Ottoman. You can see from the white the white hits though. That's <laughs> you'll see from the white hits. It's, I'm doing 86. You're doing 115. Oh. <laughs> oh. Britain wins. <laughs> <laughs> but no, actually, in reality, Ottoman is way better Civ than Britain. When it okay, comes so to archers, all right. Let's see when your skill. So your skill went off on twelve, turn twelve. All right. Let's and my it. my Edward's skill went off on turn fourteen. So I had two more stacks of Tamiris build than 
than you did. Let's see. So turn 12, I cast skill. My Tomiris. Your skill damage taken at that time is 33%. And then your turn 13 now is 36%. And then when my Tomiris hits, it's 39%. All right. Mine is 39% when you hit. I think you hit so slow. That's why. Yeah. You're not maximizing but as well. Well, my build is mostly for murder ball, though. So mine is for stacking as many stacks. So I can, I actually got 14 stacks on there. At, no, 15. So I got to 15 stacks. Mm. Yeah, you did actually, because the stack doesn't end until Tamiris hits. So it'd be and then, six. And then you got to 13 or 14. 45% is your highest stack. Let's see at the end. Let's see where my stack goes my stack goes to the 36 percent so let's see let's see if you're consistent with 40 45 percent 45 percent did i say yeah 45 percent nah because your turn 28 is now 36 percent hit so it was your first turn that was very good onto this onto the uh um maximizing stacks let's see your turn 40 is still 36 so you then what is turn what is 36 stacks then divide that by how, how in the hell is that, that makes no sense You're 12 stack 37 percent where so your your turn 26 yours was at at 37 percent at least that's what mine shows no my that's skill damage Oh, skill damage. Taken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's my hit for you. That you're supposed to be taken. Um. Also have damage dealt by archer. Oh, that doesn't mean anything. That was Edwards' skill. You can see. Actually, I like it. Damage dealt by archers to infantry plus five percent, but it's not applicable for today. I, I sent right. you a picture of my build, but it's a little confusing. Oh, is it on Discord? Is it on Discord? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Did it go through? Uh, wait, I'm so confused with Discord. Oh, I see. Your build... We're pretty much the same. Oh, I see why you lose. I know why you lose there. You took this. The Snaked Rage. You hit harder, but like, when I hit you... Ah... Uh... You, 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 yeah, you, you, you let me benefit on that. So like, that's really nice for me. I don't, I don't really recommend for me, like for archers to really have this because we're already like kind of softy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I probably actually shouldn't have it on there, but I didn't, I don't want the rage. No, I think I did some testing before I realized that it's. It doesn't affect that much this burning blood i mean you've seen the the stacks that you know it's 36 percent yeah i don't know uh i think yeah i don't for me i don't recommend having the naked rage but i think with my previous testing this this isn't really you know contributed a whole lot because like what you get like 90 rage before you can i mean maybe more than 100 for um for edward but like getting that minor like this is you know getting another one percent health i don't know um no i think you're i think you're right like it used to it used to work maybe they updated or changed something but i did tests like when edward first came out and we were get i was getting at 45 stacks every time or 45 percent every time so mm. I, they must have changed something but Either way, um, what is this one? Uh, one one last test. Let's do Richard and Sun Tzu. Richard and but, Sun Tzu. Let me take off yeah. my gear. I I I think. I mean, you could have gear as long as it's not like legendary everything. No, nah, it's fine. Um, let me see my talent tree. So this is a full defense talent tree. This is my Sunset Canyon setup. So prepare to cry and get beaten with my sunset canyon set up <laughs> uh, 
I'm probably the one crying for my hospital bill after this because it's gonna be Richard. <laughs> oh what are, oh what my god, I, I don't know how to type again. What the hell, man? I'm at 50k. 50k said severely wounded. Oh That's man, why I figured this will be the this will be the last one. Let me see mine. Oh, 45k. Yeah, that that uh, cons no, not the Constantine one was actually lower than I thought it would be. All right, let's do this. Hit hit hit. Kind of curious. Richard and Zun 2. How well is this? When it meets the Archer gang. Mm. You're currently winning. And I uh, just barely caught up, but now you healed. Nah, this is not going to win. Do you have And you have no equipment, right? No equipments. This ain't gonna win. I don't know. I, mean, I, like, I don't have. You... Hmm. I mean, if you keep healing, this is gonna be close. I mean, you're we're even right now. I think so you're I'm you're a little hit. bit lead. Yeah. So, so now now what'll happen is you're gonna heal. Mm -mm, it's not gonna go back up there. Oh, I don't man. know. Your hit is too hard. The heal is cannot compensate with it. The problem is, is that it's cool if I keep healing, but if I had like a solid, uh, a damage hitter, then it'd be fair. Maybe we should do, didn't you say you had trouble with like Richard and Martell? Yeah. Maybe, yeah, I... maybe we top it off with that and let's just see how okay. Richard and Martell compared to this, you know, Richard and Zun 2 and all these testings that we have just done. Yeah, it's it's not the problem really with Richard. If Richard has some damage, then he'd be good. It's just it's just the the beefy tanky healer commander. I still like Richard. I I can't believe I I watched uh, I used to play we played against eleven ninety eight with Bedrock. I think Bedrock was in eleven ninety eight because you were. You played with 1198 at one point in one of your KVKs. Mm. And Bedrock would run around with that damn Richard Martell and tank like 20 people. And I was like, what the hell? But see, the, the issue is, you know, a lot of players don't really have the counter. I mean, they created Edward specifically to counter Richard anyway, you know, and that's what's tough. A lot of players were playing, you know, when you go fight back then with your Richard and Martell, not a lot of players had, you know, back in the older season, they don't have a lot of, like, really good commanders. You know, I mean, that Richard Martell can tank with, like, all these epics and the, mind, the mediocre um, legendaries. But let's see. Oh, oh you're I, severe. I, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to look it's at only, it yet. It's only, uh, it's um, only 12k. Oh, my God. That's still a lot. Especially Arc tomorrow. So let's do uh, Richard Martel. Let's see. Last one because uh, we're getting too much. Oh my god, I want to look at the bill. Uh, yeah, I know. Yikes. Dang. Yeah, so let's see. I, I shouldn't win here. The hit is hard. Really, with the Edward plus 5% damage towards the infantry. It's really good. That's why I love Edward when he first came out. And you can even do like an Edward YSG. It will, it will still melt the Richard. You know, it's crazy because from the looks of it, oh, oh, you pulled no. ahead of me just for a second. No, it's not. It's, it's a clear win to you. Your damage is so so hard. But if you, if you look at this, Richard Sun Tzu did just as good. Oh, so far we have to look at it the the report and compare this then. I looking at this, it's I would say that there is some significance, but is it significant enough for you to invest, you know, expensive commander legendary compared to using a Zun two? I guess that's where we can uh, leave that, that decision-making, right, to the players.
uh, but when they analyze the report. Because the, the Zone 2 commander pairing, I mean, you have to understand, it's also an AoE damage. So when you're on the field, you're going to hit all those on the side. You get some kills on the side, you know. Yeah. And, and I mean, you think about this. This is a Gen 1. And if you do if yeah. you do Richard and Martet, or Richard and Sun Tzu, you're going against a Gen 2, which I think you're actually winning now. It might have pulled it off. It's because of the talent tree, possibly. But I don't think so, still. It could be because of my uh, desperate elegy, as now I'm going to be um, casting, gaining more rage. But as you can see... Oh, you just pulled ahead. Oh, I did. But the, the bill of this is going to be high on me, though. Oh, yeah. It's but <laughs> this is a build for YOLO. This is a YOLO build of Richard. You go out there, you say YOLO, you die. This is a tanky build. Hmm. See, look, you're you're gonna win. So, like, no equipment. Back in the day. Yeah. Richard, I always had problems with Richard Martel. But see, like, I mean, I never had. I don't know. I don't know. It's because I guess I always fight with team. Like, I never go, you know, I just go and hit the Richard. I mean, because I hit hard. You already seen how, how hard he hits. And when you are fighting with, like, in the war, right? If you're chasing the Richard, oh, my God, and they can't heal. Maybe that's because of my experience. Maybe we had a little bit of a different ex experience when, when Edward came out. Because when Edward came out, we were dominating on our, on our battle as well. So we were like chasing the, I was chasing the Richards and Martells and they couldn't heal when they can't heal. They're, they're useless and yeah. you hit really hard. Yeah. In, in mine, we were playing IKM and freaking BBTH and 157. Ooh. And I don't want to look at the bill. Look at my, <laughs> look at my severely wound. Look at my power loss. No, you're, you're actually, you only had 11 K severely wounded in that, in, in the second one. Yeah, it's still a lot and of heal. Not much. Yeah, so your Sun Tzu, you actually had more severely wounded. You uh -huh. had more slightly wounded. Holy shit. Yeah. So, yeah, Richard Martel. You have more severely wounded with the Richard Martel as well. But. Yeah. I mean, honestly, if you're going to choose between, you know, investing in a whole new legendary commander, if you already have Richard, eh, you know what? I think I, you can just go and go for the Zuntu. But though, the thing here, you cause lesser severely wounds to your enemy. And, you know, that's just looking at this one. Let me see. Yeah, you, you definitely have two. It's pretty much the same but cheaper build with the with the zoom too but of course it, it hurts it's still it's still you think about this though so richard and martel are both key commanders they're both commanders that you can get for free technically speaking that's true i mean Edward oh not richard Tarth, you... not richard wait richard you can't get off the keys anymore oh yeah that's right they yeah they took don't. that yeah 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 I forget about that sometimes. But the thing here is that using the Richard and Martel, this is a good setup compared to the Zun 2 if you are thinking in a way like ruins. Because you were able, we were able, look at the time. It should be much longer. 49.53. So that's uh, four minutes. This is about th three minutes-ish. But in, in a scenario where there is more troops, right? And you have to heal more. The healings are bigger. You know. Yeah, the Richard yeah, and Martel would be surviving long. You you have a longer footprint to tank. You know. Not necessarily that you'll win. But you'll be able to. to you know. I guess you we did win. But you'll be able to tank more. Yeah. The, the other thing that's kind of missed on this is. If you are in ruins. You're AoEing so much more. That's true too. You're gonna get a lot more from that, whereas, you know, 
it, Martell, Richard and Martell, people might not attack that. So the only benefit you're going to get is from whoever you're attacking. That's true. And if they do swarm you, I mean, you do have, you know, you, there's, there's, uh, there's cost, you know, there's some benefits on having Martell as well, right? Because of the counter attack damage if they do hit you. But like you said, that's a very good point that with Zone 2, you have that AoE hit as well. And that's going to be a little bit more passive once you get into the, the fighting. And you get I more. Might, I think I might put that in my. I'll, I'll do a little Sunset Canyon with like Martel, Sun Tzu, and show the difference in the AoE mm -hmm. compared to the other way. But. Yeah. I think it's a very good, uh, very good test things in here. I guess we kind of conclude it. You know, for me, I think using a Richard, or, you know, having a Zun 2 as a secondary is pretty good already. I mean, it's an epic you know cheaper get it easier max it easier get a lot of value you know then come then trying to wait for a martel i think as you're slowly working into getting your legendaries you should definitely be happy with your epics at first yeah i mean and really edward and tamiris were made to counter mm -hmm. richard at one point so richard and sun Tzu going almost toe to toe or pretty close to toe to toe is pretty something pretty special because i mean you're you're talking about a almost free to play going against someone who spends 1200 or 1300 sculptures on something exactly so yeah. I, I still think it was worth yep i think so too all right um awesome thank you for doing this if you guys find value in this one right subscribe and turn your notification on this as well check out um, Mr. Puddle Cakes in here as well. <laughs>